This video is about finding the component of a force, and it's really concentrating on the mathematical skills that you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a diagram just in pencil. So this line across here is going to be my horizontal line. I'm going to start at this point here, and it says that we've got a 10 Newton force acting to the right at an angle of 40 degrees. Now I could just sketch it out, but I've got the equipment I need, so I'm just going to draw an accurate diagram. So using my protractor, if that's 180 at 140, that's 40 degrees. And I'm just going to do a 10 centimetre long line. So this is our 10 Newton force at an angle of 40 degrees above the horizontal. And we want to know the horizontal component. So if I just draw this line down, uh, and this is, this is a really useful thing, always draw a diagram when it comes to questions. We want to know effectively how long this side along here is. Okay, this is a horizontal component of that force, and it's a right angle triangle. Now, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to just label on this triangle the things that I know. So this is my angle theta in here. The longest side is my hypotenuse. This is the adjacent side, and that's the opposite side. It's just always worth doing that at the start. And what we know is a hypotenuse, we know theta, and we want to find the length of this adjacent side. So if we've got these three things here, then we're going to be using cos theta. Cos theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. We want to know the adjacent side, so that means the adjacent side is equal to h cos theta. So I've just rearranged this by putting h at the top. That means the length of the adjacent side is equal to 10 times cos 40. Now, when I come to do this on my calculator, I just need to check that this is in degrees mode, so there's a little d at the top of the calculator. And then I'm just going to simply do 10 times cos 40. And when I do that, it gives an answer of 7.66. So the length of this side is equal to 7.7 .7 .7 newtons. And just as a final confirmation, I'm just going to check this is about 7.7 .7 centimetres. It's not the most precise diagram, but you can see it's, okay, my line's not perfect but it's about seven and a half, seven point seven 7.7 centimetres. So that's how to solve uh, an equation like this by using trigonometry. In this case, we're using cos to work out the horizontal component of a force.